little sequence. You bring the fingers in and then out and then curl in and the knuckles back and then bring them up and the knuckles back again, thumbs reaching forward. We'll do that one more time. In, out, curl in, feel the forearms burn, knuckles back. You can do this for reps. And then I'll bring a little more weight. Shoulders just behind the wrists and I'm just bringing the shoulders forward and back, forward and back. You can do this with the knees down, you can bring the knees back for a little more load. Or in time I might lift the knees but take it nice and slow, build it up over time. The knees back down. I do this also with my fingers facing out. Just bring the shoulders side to side. And then I'll bring fingers back. And I'll just start to take my shoulders back to increase the load. And I might start to peel here the, the palms up. Oh yeah, feel it. Nice. You can also do this with the fingers facing in. Same idea, just going side to side. And we've got palm raises. So I'm just gonna keep the knuckles down and lift the palms, shoulders over wrists. If this is too much with the shoulders over the wrists, you can just come back a little bit to build the familiarity and build the strength over time. So, so just building some strength in the wiring of our body. And we can also do this in the opposite, keep the, keep the um, Elbows from bending, so the eye of the elbows ideally face forward. I'm just lifting all the fingers, and you can also do this more specifically lifting the index fingers, lifting the middle fingers, lifting the, whoa, hard to do, there's ring fingers and pinky fingers. Spiraling teacups, so I'm going to bring the elbow out as my block comes in, up back and around. So don't worry too much about getting it perfect. Just find big global movements, mobilizing through the shoulder and then into the back and the whole upper body. To add a little challenge, you can step the feet a little wider. I like to do this in a, in a horse's stance. Keep the lower body active. And then as my body warms up to this, I'll prep by pinning the one hand down. I've got it on my thigh. Or I can pin the hand down to the floor. If I've got another block, I'll do it that way. And I usually just go in this one outward direction because it's a lot easier but you can take it in reverse but I would recommend for that first little while only to go I'll just show one more time in slow mo go on the left side this time so the elbow comes out as the block comes back and in that middle area and I think a lot of people will like that I'm doing this on a, a video because you can slow it down and rewind and give this a go start with lighter objects or then in time you can find something with a little more weight to increase the challenge and to um, further condition the shoulder joint things you can do is, um, is to hang and so here, 
and I'm using my body for support, but I'm just doing the passive supported hang. I can just do this for time, or add challenge by lifting one or both legs. Really great thing to do in the summer with the great weather and the monkey bars available. 